So then, time to talk motorsport here on Highland, and uh, it's a double weekend, a bumper weekend of action to discuss. Joining me is Killian Duffy from On The Pace Note. Killian, it's good to see you. Good to see you too, Oshin. Good to be back at it. Yeah, good to be back. It's been a long time. Mm, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, listen, we're tearing into it this weekend. Bushwhacker on Saturday, Cork on Sunday. Maybe we'll touch on, on the Bushwhacker briefly. It, it's based out of Oma, and there's been uh, a lot of anticipation and excitement about this one. So there has, and there's a great entry list for it as well, Killian. Yeah, it's it's great entry list for it. Um, it was over 100 entries, I think, in about an hour for it. Um, the Bushwhacker, I've always done notes for it, and it hasn't been ran in two years, but certainly the two-year break has helped the forest. Um, they're in absolutely fantastic shape. Um, condition-wise for the crews. Um, leading the way is Cahill McCourt. Um, he was the previous winner of the event. It'd be very familiar stages, although they've mixed it up. There's a good bit of tarmac in the event this year. Um, on the third stage, there's some long sections of uh, tarmac. So that'll be making it interesting, particularly on gravel tyres. Um, but again, a lot of the people are familiar with the gravel parts of the stages. Um, as pick a winner, be tricky enough. I'd say Cahill McCourt um, has to be favoured. Patrick O'Brien then is in his Evo. Um, now, unless he appears in an R5, I know Gary Jennings is out as well. Um, also, Vivian Hamill was out last weekend, Galloway Hills. Jason Mitchell, new to rally, and he won't be far away. Um, Martina Samsonos as well um, from Lithuania is out uh, doing the event. He's in, down in a Lancer. Um, I can't see any of the Group N sort of traditional cars uh, matching or beating the R5 cars, even though it is a very fast event. They won't be far away, but I would say it'll be hard to look look past sort of Can McCourt, um, Vivian Hamill, James Wilson even. Um, you know, he's done a couple of events this year. So, yeah, it'll be, be an interesting event. Yeah, uh, Donegal men obviously involved Paddy Robinson sitting with Derek McGarity. Joseph McGonigal has Mark McGeehan on board in the R5 Fiesta. And uh, we can't forget about the County Tyrone man, uh, Frank Kelly and his daughter Lauren Kelly. They're, they're sitting in seated 33 for this one. Uh, but a lot of Tyrone people are expecting big stuff from Mr. Kelly at the weekend, Kelly. Yeah, again, he won't have it all his own way. Um, David Crossan is showing massive speed. Um, across the water in the few events he's done. Paul Barrett, okay, he's in a historic spec car. Frank Kelly, Adrian Hedrington is in a, a historic car. Shane McGurr, I mean, pick a winner there. It's not not easy at all. Um, but definitely David Crossan has been setting a great pace this year. Um, so uh, Frank is going to have it all to do to beat him. Gary Jennings is doing the bushwhacker on, on Saturday. He was in the entry list for Cork himself and Rory Kennedy, but that's not happening now on, on Sunday. Uh, but Cork 20 is back. Yes, it's a single day. They've reduced it to nine stages, obviously under the the uh, the current COVID umbrella that, that we have killing and a lot of restrictions involved. But from our point of view up here, as the crews go to almost the furthest point of the country, Donna Kelly and Declan Boyle, same sort of machinery, and will they be fighting it out at the head of the field? Will they kill him? Hard to say, to be honest with you. It'll be, it'll be like, how has the break affected people? I mean, Donna hasn't been out, um, I, I don't think, since COVID. I'm sure he has a, a decent test on. Declan Boyle hasn't been out since Donegal 19. Again, he's in a new car. Like, I would say top five or six, definitely, for both of them. Picking a winner again, I would say Murray and Evans could be the dark horse for us. Um, he just had a win in a three three Shires Tarmac event in the UK there a couple of weeks ago. Um, like he's the most match fit along with Callum Devine. Um, Callum Devine as well is going to go well. He's um, he's fourth fourth on the road, but again he he's been match fit. He's been doing a lot in Europe. Um, his confidence is going going to be up. And uh, yeah, it's, it's it'll be it'll be a good race. But again, you know you have the Moffats. You have such a, a fantastic entry there. Um, but I would say if it was, I would say Marion Evans could be just get the jump at the start, and it might be just uh, him or Callum Devine, and I would say it'll be hard to hard to stay with them. Yeah. What kind of stages are these crews going to expect on Sunday in Cork? Is it traditional Cork twenty event stages? Yeah, well, like I suppose the traditional ones people think of is around McCroom area, whereas this year it's around Fermoy, Rathcormac. Um, they're very fast stages, um, very flowing. Bar a section of, of the second one in the middle that's a bit tricky and tight and narrow. Generally, the rest is nice, fast, sort of smooth flowing roads. Um, so it, it'll be interesting the times that the modifieds put in as well. And like, there's what a what a modified lineup there is. Yeah, we were expecting Brian Brogan and Demi McGettigan to be out in a modified escort uh, and fighting it out at the the head of the national, but. Quite a number of crews have new machinery. Uh, Brogan is among one of them. He's going to go on a two-liter um, turbo Skoda Fabia. 
while uh, Aidan Ray, who we know, of course, was uh, heavily involved in the group and cars all, all down through the years uh, in the Mitsubishi, now he's got himself a Ford Fiesta R5. He has, yeah. And actually, Aidan was out in Argyle there, a tarmac event, about six or seven weeks ago um, in Scotland. Um, and he had a good run there. So he's going to be confident as well starting. Again, the left and drive, it'll take some learning, I would say, still probably with his confidence. Brian Brogan's an interesting one, all right, in the Fabia. It'd be interesting to see that car, how it handles. I mean, the, the Fabia, I presume it's a Super 2000 um, model. Yeah. Um, a good handling car, um, particularly on medium speed corners. So it'll be interesting to see how it goes with this turbo engine in it. Yeah, and it's right hand drive for him as well. He doesn't yeah, have to move to... Here. yeah there's, there's less learning. I think it's it's um, it's hard to get used to the left and drive at a certain point of your career. Yeah. Uh, so who's who do you think is going to be there there about to come the national at the end of the day on Sunday? Like, I, I suppose is Gary Gary Kernan is there. Um, he's going to be he's going to be quick. Uh, James Stafford. He, he doesn't seem to ever take time to get going after a long break. He just seems to be on the on the pace um, straight away. Damien Toner was out in Loch Gall. It's hard to say. I would say, to be honest with you, probably I would say Gary Kernan now will be it'll be hard to live with. I mean, Chris Armstrong's there as well, but Chris hasn't been out since his big accident in Killarney a couple of years ago. Um, so it'll be I would say it'll be between Kernan, Stafford, and Toner. Okay. You can, of course, follow both events over the weekend with yourself, Killian. You've got a buzzy one ahead of you. Yeah, if people go onto the Facebook page on the Pace Note, um, we're covering live feeds from the Bushwhacker and also then Cork 20. So we haven't had a stage rally in um, since Mayo 2020. So really looking forward to getting back to traditional stage ends and hopefully people can tune in and, and follow the coverage. Yeah. Just finally then, you're on the road to Donegal today as I'm talking to you. Yes, up to do the harvest notes today. Um, so just on the way up here, it's two stages um, with a shakedown on the Saturday uh, around Donegal Town. Looking forward to seeing these stages. They're never easy around Donegal Town, so I'm expecting a, a bit of a day's work ahead of me. Yeah, OK. Well, listen, enjoy your time and Donegal. We'll be speaking to you uh, in the coming weeks again, Killian. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Oisin.